Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are all in good health. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, we will give you further instructions. At the end of Mass, we ask that you exit through the main doors at the back of the church. Our presider today is Father Cecil Critch, and our gathering chant is number 474, Lord, you search me and you know me. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Good morning to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us for the times we have failed to be merciful, to be compassionate to others. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. My brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I testify to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obliged to obey the entire law. You who want to be justified by the law have cut yourselves off from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that counts is faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. more 
you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So Jesus went in and took his place at the table. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness, you fools. Do not, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within, and see everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Gospels, we often find Jesus at table with people, many, many instances. A great deal happens in the setting of meals. This is especially true of the Gospel of Luke, where Jesus shares tables with disciples, with those regarded by the people of the time as sinners, with those who regarded themselves as living lives faithful to God's law, such as the Pharisees. They were understood to be over 600 regulations within the Jewish law. If you look at the book of Leviticus, there was about 600 plus regulations there. Uh, many of them related to ritual cleanliness and purification, various washings on a variety of occasions, such as meals. So in today's gospel reading, Jesus is invited as a guest to the table of one of such Pharisees. And the Jews have a particular custom and laws about ritual washing before meals. I remember when I went to Israel, before you went to a kosher restaurant, there's all these big sinks where you have to wash your hands right up to your elbows. That goes back to Leviticus. But Jesus wants him to teach a lesson to the Pharisees about what, should, what are the priorities in life and in faith. He reminds him that what matters in God's eyes is a clean heart and a pure spirit, not merely clean hands. In the inner life of the person, that is more important to God, the heart, according to Jesus. If the heart and spirit are right, then a way of life pleasing to God will follow. And in this morning's beautiful first reading, Paul states clearly to what he considers to be essentials, the essentials. What matters, he says, is faith that makes its power felt through love. Faith and good works. Faith and charity. You can have one without the other. Faith working through love. We are called to faith and entrusting of ourselves to Christ who gave himself for us in love on the cross. Our faith is to find expression in a life of loving service to others, of loving deeds, acts of kindness, in a, in a life that allows the love of Christ to flow through us and touch the lives of others. Paul would say that everything else is secondary. We offer our prayers of intercession today. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Peter, and all those who lead and guide our church. In the face of many obstacles these days, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are displaced in our world, those refugees, those who are fleeing for their safety, trying to find citizenship in, in our countries, well able to look after them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those affected by this pandemic, those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit as a result of that, especially, and as well financially. For all those affected negatively by the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, and today we pray for Doug and Paul Skirving, for, Paul, for Kevin Dormady, Peggy Reed, Jim Foley, and Marion Goodman, that the healing power of the Holy Spirit may be upon them, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died in our Mass today is offered especially for Frank Fowler. We pray for his soul. We pray to the Lord. For the prayers in the quiet of your hearts today. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the grace and blessings you give us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, O Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. God of all creation, for through your 
goodness you'll receive the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We share the peace of Christ with one another. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying, Amen, upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. 
Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Communion hymn is One Love Release, number 6.6, .6, and celebrate in song. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. A prayer to Mary for help in this pandemic. O Mary, o Mary you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. 
you salvation of your people know what we need and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Our missioning chant is, Lord Jesus, we must know you, number 517.